Uh, hi, I'm Neil Gershenfeld. I'm on the south lawn of the White House with the Mobile Fab Lab. I direct the Center for Bits and Atoms at MIT, and we work on turning data into things and things into data. So the research is how to make a Star Trek replicator. And so this, for example, you won't really be able to see this, but this is microelectronic Lego to make integrated circuits. And this is carbon fiber Lego to make jumbo jets as part of the research. Now, coming out of that research, one of the things that's emerged is uh, personal fabrication. People create what the, we, they consume. Behind me is a mobile fab lab, and it's one of hundreds of labs that let people create technology. So to start showing you that, I'm going to introduce my student, Nadia Peak, who makes machines that make machines. So Nadia, can you explain these? Hi, I'm Nadia Peak. I'm a PhD student at the Center for Bits and Atoms um, at MIT. And uh, all of these are machines that we've made using digital fabrication equipment to make more digital fabrication equipment. And so if you want to have a custom machine or you want a specific purpose for your machine, then you can use the digital fabrication equipment that you have in a fab lab to make more custom purpose things. So this is a folding 3D printer slash milling machine slash vinyl cutter slash liquid handler I made with Alain Moyer. Um, this is a small format milling machine that I made with John Uncle Ward. Um, these are reconfigurable machines, um, and these are business spin-offs from the machines that make the project. Um, the Form 1 is the cheapest desktop SLA 3D printer, and the Ultimaker is a FDM 3D printer. So these are all things that we have on display here right now in only 97 degrees at the White House. <laughs> and then with all of these tools, you can create products instead of consuming them. So then I'll introduce Makeda to introduce herself and some of the projects and products. So my name is Makeda Stephenson, and I am from Boston, Massachusetts. I grew up in urban Boston, and I was introduced to the Fab Lab at about 12 years old. So I've been involved in this for a long time, but this has been a really big role in my life. I'm now studying engineering. Um, what we have here is we basically have projects that have been de de developed by various people. So right here on my right, we have a cargo bike. Um, this is made with CNC milled equipment, all the equipment that's in the lab. We have um, a guitar that was made using the CNC equipment in the lab. We have circuit trees. These are actual circuit boards. I don't know how well you, how well you can see that. Um, a prosthetic um, foot, which you can imagine the implications in medicine. Um, guitars, um, a composite circuit um, skateboard, and robot right there. And so if all of this sounds interesting, you can go to a fab lab in your community and do this. And if there isn't a fab lab in your community, you can start one.